Bonsoir tout le monde. Nous sommes ici encore aujourd'hui pour apprendre la langue française pour la classe troisième. We are here for French language for JSS3. Nous sommes avec Madame Chijo Kechi Sarah comme d'habitude. You are still with Mrs. Chijoke Chisara. La leçon d'aujourd'hui, on va apprendre la structure de la langue. Vous savez ce que veut dire la structure de la langue. Oui, ok, Chupu, qu'est-ce qui veut dire la structure de la langue? Ça, c'est très bien. Language structure. La structure de la langue veut dire language structure. À la fin de la leçon, les étudiants seront capables de nommer les numéros ordinaux d'adjectifs. Les numéros ordinaux d'adjectifs. L'adjectif démonstratif. L'adjectif démonstratif et aussi les articles partitifs et quantifiés. Les articles partitifs et quantifiés. Alors, nous les prenons un après l'autre. Maintenant, on commence avec les numéros ordinaux d'adjectifs. Les numéros ordinaux d'adjectifs. Nous avons les numéros cardinaux et aussi les numéros ordinaux. Remember, we have done this before. This is a revision class. This is a revision class. Very soon now, you will sit for your BC. Les numéros cardinaux sont A, ordinary numbers, alors que les numéros Ordinal. A. Ah, ordinal numbers. Exemple. 1 is le numéro cardinal. Alors que premier est le numéro ordinal. We have known how to count our numbers in French already, isn't it? Yes. We have known them very well. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, jusqu'à n'importe quel numéro. Alors que les numéros ordinaux sont premiers. Donc, un est pour premier, deux, deuxième, that is, one, first, deux, second, trois, third, and so on. Hence, you know how to count your numbers you'll be able to count your ordinal numbers. It's very simple. In French, it's very simple. Even it's a bit difficult in English because in English, you say two, second, three, third. But in French, you say deux, deuxième, trois, troisième. What you do is After writing that number, you just add I-E-N-E -E at the end to make it ordinal number. It becomes E-M, E-M, de, deuxième, dix, dixième, vingt, vingtième, cinquante, cinquantième. It remains the same. It's only un that has a difference, which is un premier for masculine and première for feminine. I hope this is taken. Just master your numbers and the numéro ordinal d'adjectifs will be very simple. Hence, you have mastered your numbers, the numéro cardinal, les numéros ordinaux sont vraiment faciles. Très, très faciles. Les numéros ordinaux d'adjectifs, 
maintenant devienne en employant I, E, à son grave, M, E. En anglais, I, I, M, I. Ça devient I, M, après le numéro que tu as écrit. Maintenant, on va faire des phrases avec ces numéros ordinaires d'adjectifs. Exemple de phrase. L'hôpital est la troisième maison en étage après le carrefour. L'hôpital est la troisième maison en étage après le carrefour. The hospital is the third story building after the roundabout. The hospital is the third story building after the roundabout. Third, that is what we are emphasizing on, les numéros ordinaires. Tu peux aussi dire, je suis le premier fils de la famille. Je suis le premier fils de la famille. I am the first son of the family. I am the first son of the family. You have, you can have your own examples with the, the numero ordinal. Having known how to count your numbers and having seen these examples, I believe you'll be able to make your own examples. I believe some people have started writing their own examples. That is very good. You can write about, about 10 examples. You know I will mark them. Just do it and show it to me and I'll be happy with you. Thank you. The next understructure de la langue, c'est l'adjectif démonstratif. L'adjectif démonstratif. Qui veut dire demonstrative adjective. Demonstrative adjective. Nous avons ce, répété. Ce. Oui, c'est bien. C'est. C'est. C-E-T. Always remember that whenever we are pronouncing a word in French that ends with a consonant, the last alphabet is silent. Uh -huh. C'est. C-E-T. C'est. Set. Set. You see now that T has come in because E ended this way. Set. And we have another one. Set. C-E-S. Set. C-E-S. Now what does this mean? So mean this. This. C-E-T C -E -T also means this, this, T-H-I-S, this. Set also means this, this. Now what is the difference between these three? So is masculine. It demonstrates a masculine noun. It's an adjective that demonstrates a masculine noun. Se, C-E-T, is also masculine. But there is a difference between the two. Se and se, C-E-T. Se is placed before a masculine noun that starts with a consonant. So is placed before a masculine noun that starts with a consonant. Why se c e t is placed before a con a masculine noun that starts with a vowel. Se is placed before a masculine noun that starts with a vowel or H mue. That is mut H. Mut H. That is a silent H. 
Why set is still this, but is placed before a feminine noun. Now we have set, C E S. This is placed before plural nouns. It can be masculine, it can be feminine. Set, C E S, is for plural, it can be masculine, it can be feminine. Now, what I've just explained here in English say, in French says, ce et ce sont devant les noms masculins. Ce et ce sont devant les, les noms masculins. Mais ce est devant un nom qui commence avec un consonne. Alors que ce est devant un nom qui commence avec une voyelle. Ou H mieux. Devant une voyelle. Ou H moins. Sept est placé devant un nom féminin. Sept, C, -E -S, C -E S, est placé devant un nom pluriel. Ça peut être masculin. Ou féminin. C -E -S can be for feminine or masculine, but it must be plural. Exemple. Ce garçon est méchant. Ce garçon est méchant. You can see ce, C -E. The noun garçon is masculine. The noun garçon is masculine. Therefore, we have ce. Yes, we have learned that ce, C-E, and ce, C-E-T, are for masculine. But remember, garçon started with a consonant. Therefore, what we should put there is ce, C-E. Now you can see, cet homme est très honnête. Cet homme est très honnête. This man is very honest. This man is very honest. Now, if you listen to my pronunciation, you will see that that H is silent. I didn't say cet homme. That H is silent. Om. Om. You start from the last letter, which is O. H is silent. Set om e on it. That is why we have C E T. You know that om is a masculine noun. This man is very honest. Set maison e jolie. Now you say that this is a feminine noun. Maison. Maison in French is feminine. This house. This house is beautiful. This house is beautiful. Cette maison est jolie. Listen very well because you are going to give me your own sentences. I know that the sharp ones have started making their own sentences. That's very good. I can see my velos. Uh -huh. Don't do as if you are doing something. I have seen you. I have seen you. Yes. Ces oranges sont chères. Ces oranges sont chères. Orange is a feminine noun. But we have say in front of it. That is, these oranges are costly. These oranges are costly. Like I said, say can be before a masculine or a feminine noun. Now, orange is a mas is a, fe a feminine noun. Let's take om, which we have seen before as a masculine noun. Set om est très honnête. We can as well say, ces hommes, that is now for plural. Ces hommes sont très 
Zonet. You can see that the verb has also changed because it's more than one man. Ces hommes sont très zonets. Ces maisons sont jolies. These houses are beautiful. Ces maisons sont jolies. You will not limit it to my own example. Give your own examples. I want about 20 examples from you. Don't cheat. I'm watching you. That's very good. Who will give me an example? Who will give me an example? Cette voiture est blanche. Ça c'est très bien. Cette voiture est blanche. Applaudissez pour Chiquado. Ça c'est très bien. Cette voiture est blanche. Ça c'est très bien. On continue. Je crois que avec ça, nous avons bien compris cette, le cette leçon. I know that you have well understood this lesson. Le dernier c'est les articles partitifs et quantifiés. Répétez. Les articles partitifs et quantifiés. Ces articles sont du. Répétez. Du. Du est pris de de plus le. Et il y a aussi de la. De la. On les met devant les noms qu'on ne peut pas compter. On les met devant les noms qu'on ne peut pas compter. De la. Ou du. This is some. Some. You know, some is used for uncountable nouns. It's used for uncountable nouns. You know the uncountable nouns we have. We have many uncountable nouns. You can't get an uncountable noun and you say a or an for it. No, you will use some because it is uncountable. That is how it's also in French. That's good. Now we have do to identify uncountable nouns or de la. We say de la when the noun is feminine. And we say du when the noun is masculine. I know that some of you will look for du in the dictionary and there will be a big confuse. You will see de and uh, when you are writing on your own, you will see de and le. But if you don't look carefully, you will not see that de plus le is equal to du. When you are speaking, you don't say de le. It's not a correct grammar. But when you have a word that, a sentence that have de le, you change that de le to be du. This is a trap. It always comes in your exam. It always comes. And you will see it. Du. They will give you an example uh, with de le and say put it in the right form. Some will, some will still write de le. You have failed. And remember, it's objective. The one you have failed, you have failed it. De le is equal to du. Hence, you see de le, you transform it to du. Example. Adam mange du riz chaque jour. Adam mange du riz chaque jour. You know, rice is uncountable. You know, riz is rice. Yes. Riz is rice. We have some rice, some water, some butter, some oil, some sand. And what have you? That's the same thing. Remember we said de la is for feminine while de du is for masculine. Also remember that 
when they now that you are using stars with a vowel or mute H, L apostrophe is required. That la, a will be erased to be changed with apostrophe. Thank you, you still remember. We have mon père boit du café après chaque repas. Mon père boit du café après chaque repas. My father takes some coffee after each meal. I know some of you, their father also does that. Yes, it helps them. Our fathers, it helps them. I know you will not want to take it. Donne-moi une tasse de thé. This is what you will want. De thé, some tea. Give me some tea. Give me some tea. Donne-moi une tasse de thé. Il y a de l'huile dans l'assiette. You see, that the L apostrophe has come in. Il y a de l'huile dans l'assiette. Il y a de l'huile dans l'assiette. Some oil. Some oil. There is some oil in the plate. There is some oil in the plate. I believe you will make your own examples with the help of my own examples. Now, what are you going to do for me? You will write five sentences with the numero ordinal d'adjectif. Number two, you will write five sentences with l'adjectif demonstratif. And at last, you will write five sentences with les articles partitifs et quantifiés. After writing these sentences, make sure to translate them in English. Remember, you are writing them in French. After writing them in French, you translate them to English. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Au revoir. A bientôt.